Hello and welcome to Carwale. I'm Vikrant and this is the all new Swift. Now it is all new because it is based on a completely new platform. It shares its platform with the Desire and the Bellino and that means this Swift compared to the older car is lighter, more spacious and better built. Now Maruti says that they've worked on the performance of the car. There hasn't been any change to the drivetrain as such, but there's been some change in the tuning and that means the 0 to 100 time for the new Swift is supposed to be quicker. Now we're going to drive this car, we're going to see what it is all about. This should be a really interesting car, not just for sales, but as a product. Let's find out. The all new bit is quite obvious when you look at the car. It still has the typical Swift stance and the haunches are even more pronounced. In fact, the design overall is more rounded now. The front has a distinct and young character highlighted by the multi-dimensional headlights, the buff grille and a sporty bumper. The profile is smooth and uncluttered and the mild contours give the new Swift an appearance of a bigger car. And yes, moving the rear door handle closer to the C-pillar works too. It makes the car seem like a three-door instead of a typical boring five-door hatch. The rear end design though is a mixed bag. We like the tail lamps, but the tailgate could have had more character in design. Inside, the new Swift does remind one of the Desire. The two are essentially the same cars in a sense. So the steering, the center screen and the dash design in general is carried over. But the Swift gets a different climate control module. We like the clocks, but we would wish the glove box was cool. The seats are cushy, comfy and supportive and the Swift now isn't half bad as a four-seater. And it has a decently sized boot. The engine and gearbox options include a 1.2-litre petrol that's made it to a 5-speed manual and an AMT and a 1.3 diesel again with the same gearbox options. On the road, the Swift does justify its fun tag. It feels planted and stable on the highways and quick-footed and agile both around corners and in city traffic. It runs quieter too and the controls from the clutch to the gear shifts to the steering are light but precise. We love the petrol engine by the way, the way it sounds, the way it revs. In fact, of all the drivetrain options, the petrol manual would be our pick. Now the previous generation Swift wasn't an outstanding car, but it still sold really, really well. The new car is a much better product. I mean, if you were to nitpick, we could say that the steering feel isn't so great and the ride could be more settled. But as a product, as a car, as a hatchback, I think the new Swift is nearly spot on. Now, in terms of design, in terms of appeal, in terms of interiors, features, I think Maruti has done really well. If you're looking for a hatchback that's fun, sporty and young, I think the Swift really works now.